today's class we are going to see how to create infographics in photoshop what is infographics infographics means an information which is shared through graphics right so this is what we are going to see in today's class the video which you have seen is a basic infographics which is been created in photoshop so without further delay let's start Open Photoshop and create a new document. Let's keep this document set up. Now unlock the layer. Go to shapes and create ellipse tool. To create perfect circle, press shift in the keyboard and drag. Select the move tool and move it. The top space is for infographics title. Press control T for transform option and to scale it and the size you need. Duplicate the shape and check the space is enough for the three infographics point which you're going to create. As I said before, the top space is for the title. If you are okay with the space, let's delete the shapes. Now select the shape layer and right click Give convert to smart object. Go to windows and let's bring timeline. In timeline option, we have video timeline and frame animation. Click video timeline option now. This is how the video timeline looks like. Select the ellipse layer and give control G group. Drag and drop the shape layer inside the group. Select the ellipse layer and we have lots of options. Keep the timeline slider in the first frame. Select the layer and double click to apply shadow effect. Drop shadow effect options are more. Apply and check what you need. Go to timeline panel. Let's create transform and opacity. Keep the slider in the first frame. Click the key points. In the first frame, let's give transform first. Press Ctrl plus T, scale it to zero visibility and press enter. Now go to opacity, reduce the opacity to zero. Move the slider to the sixth frame. Increase the opacity to 100 and select the transform now. Press Ctrl plus T to scale again and increase the visibility to 100. You can move the slider and check whether the animation is working or not. If you feel the keyframes are too less, select the keyframes and move it. Now this animation looks normal. So let's animate the circle more. Let's move the slider extra 5 frames. And now we are going to use transform option. Press Ctrl plus T, scale it to zero visibility and press enter. Now again move 5 frames and increase the size and press enter. Now just press space bar and check the animation. The circle animation is done. Now let's create text. So move 5 frames and create a text using text tool. Type the text and change the color and place it in the center of the circle. Now just play it and check how the animation has come out well. Select the text and give the opacity 0 in the first frame. After 5 frames, increase the opacity to 100%. Now move to 5 frames and create a shape. Let's create rectangle. Create rectangle the size you need and change the color.
right click the shape and give convert to smart object go to timeline option and give key in the first frame for the rectangle press control plus t and scale it small and press enter now select the opacity and give zero move the rectangle shape below the circle shape now move five frames select the shape and give control t drag the shape how much you need and press enter the keyframe will be created select the opacity and increase to 100 percentage double click the layer and give drop shadow as we did for the circle now you can play it and watch the animation after the rectangle animation is done we have to place the text in the rectangle type the text and change the color and place it in the center of the rectangle go to the text first frame and give the opacity 0 after 5 frames increase the opacity increase the length of the layers to make the animation to finish properly in the end now let's play and watch the animation Our infographic first point looks great with smooth animation. For the second point, the same process which I did for the first point. The second point should come after the first point. So we have to move that group after the first point. So you can see there my slider is in the end of the first point. the same process which i did for the first point i'm doing it again If you watch it slowly you can easily follow what I am doing. I am doing the same process which I did for the first point. There is no change in the process which I am doing here.
आई होप द वीडियो वॉज यूजफुल थैंक यू